Hey, this is Steve at Raybuck Auto Body Parts. I'm going to show you guys how to replace the wiper arm on your vehicle, on a newer vehicle. So this is the rear of our uh, Honda Odyssey van. Uh, the front or the rear could work the same way. Uh, you might have two reasons for needing to replace it. Not necessarily replacing the wiper blade itself, but the whole arm. In our case, you can see down here, it actually snapped off, the plastic snapped, and it came off. So the uh, center section is still left on there. But if you notice, there's a spring on the inside of here. Sometimes that spring will break too, and then the uh, wiper arm won't work anymore, so you need to replace it. So the tricky part is you need a tool, a specific tool to help get this off. There are two different tools that you can use. One is this windshield wiper arm remover. Um, I tried it. It would be fine if you had the arm still on there because you could probably see underneath it here, it's like a U shape. It clips around here and it will pull the wiper arm off. The problem with this one is it didn't work because the wiper arm was already off. So I needed something to get around the, uh, the little threaded nut that's on there, the compression fitting that's on there. There's a nut and a compression fitting. So what I opted for was one of these tools. Um, it's similar to what you saw there uh, and it will pull a wiper arm off. It will also work for battery terminals. So it's adjustable, you can squeeze it. I think it goes from like a quarter inch all the way out to an inch and an eighth. Um, and it's really easy to use. You literally just squeeze it, you put it over top of this, and then you tighten it down. So in order to replace this, if your wiper arm is on or off, there, I'll show you first if it's on. If it's on, there's this plastic cap. You literally can pull the plastic cap off with your fingers, and then you're gonna be able to access the nut that's underneath of it. Take this nut off, I already had this one loosened, so take that nut off, and then you can get to the compression fitting that's under there. And if you want to see in the new one, the compression fitting is already in there, it's already in the plastic. Uh, this one again, it broke off, so it's, it's uh, on the vehicle. So what you would do if the wiper arm was on, you would squeeze this, put it all the way around, so that the metal teeth here are wrapped underneath or hooked underneath of that compression fitting, and then you simply just tighten down here and it's going to pull that off. I'll show you what it looks like with it off. It's a lot easier to see. You're going to put that over top of here. I'm going to loosen it up a little bit. And then you just crank down a little bit. And it pulled it right off. And that was it. So you just put it over there, tighten down. Literally you could probably do one turn and it'll pop it right off. If you try to use something else, a pair of pliers or some other tool, there's a really good chance you're going to break the glass and shatter this whole thing. This tool is about $15. Um, it's well worth it just to pop that off. To put the new one on, it's as simple as taking the plastic off, just like I showed you on the other one. Pop the plastic off. We're going to slide this compression fitting over it. We're going to put the nut on, tighten it down, and you're done. And that's it. That's the whole wiper arm. The blade itself, is also pretty similar on most vehicles, super easy. You tilt it and it pops right off. You're gonna get this little groove right here. You're gonna put on the new one. Oops, sorry. You're gonna put it like that, snap it in place, and that's gonna be it. So I'm gonna put this on the new one, I'm gonna tighten it on, and we're done. So hopefully that helps you guys. It's super easy, again, if it's the front or the rear, it works exactly the same. Um, and that's really it. Again, get the tool. Don't try to do it without the tool because there's a good chance you're going to shatter something. Even on the front, you could break the front windshield. You could mess up the cowl. You could scratch the paint. You could do a lot of different things. Uh, that tool is well worth $15. So if you guys like what you saw, please subscribe. Uh, like the video. appreciate it. And uh, we'll have more tips and tools like this to, uh, to come. Thanks for watching.